will shoot it, and he won't get the roll. We've got a seven-point game at the half, 41-34. And guys, the stars came to play. Olenek and Harris for Gonzaga and Foster for Santa Clara. Well, both coaches, that's what you want to see. Your main guys, your main guns, come in and give it all you've got, and they both did that tonight. It's an early season showdown in the West Coast Conference. It's been enjoyable for the first 20 minutes. We're at the half, number 10 Gonzaga, with a 41-34 lead on Santa Clara. Halftime when we come back. Welcome. model is game changing. And welcome back to the Levy Center. Guys, Mark Trasolini, just four points in that, five points in that first half, but he's getting it done defensively, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing it on both ends of the floor. Hasn't gotten going offensively, but leads the league with two blocks per game, and you've seen his activity level coming on the weak side, and even one-on-one -on -one in the post, you see right here, forces a tough shot, gets a block, He's just a handful there, really, really active on that end of the floor, and he's a much better athlete than he looks. But if you're going to beat Gonzaga, you got to bring your offense. Rockamore and Trasolini, just nine points between the two of them. We'll be right back. Set to get the second half rolling at the Levy Center in Santa Clara, California, Gonzaga, and the Santa Clara Broncos. High scores for Gonzaga. It's Olenek and Harris for Santa Clara. It's Foster with 17 points. And Dan Dicko, Kevin Foster has been, frankly, Kevin Foster in this game, right? <laughs> he has, averaging 19 points a game on the year, had 17 in the first half, but scored in a number of different ways. Here you see shot fake, attack the rim to a great finish around three zags. This time, Rockmore penetrates, finds the open, open spot, knocks down the three. This play, he just simply shows you his deep range. Scoring in a number of different ways tonight. Gonzaga will start the second half with possession. You gotta figure though for Santa Clara that Gonzaga would give Foster 30 as Pango's missing. Jump ball, possession arrow going the other way. But Richard, Gonzaga will get Foster 30 if Trasolini and Rockamore don't get going offensively. Yeah, I mean, you, you just expect Foster's going to find his shots. And more often than not against Gonzaga, he comes to play, and he's done that there in the first half. But the fact you've been able to keep Rockamore and Trasolini in check offensively is a big, big plus if you're Gonzaga. I mean, you're not going to beat Gonzaga if you don't have balanced scoring. You don't get other guys going. Here's Foster. 17 first half points and two to start the second half. He's got 19. Picking up right where he left off in that first half, but you're completely right. If you look at the games Gonzaga, Gonzaga lost this year, Brandon Paul with Illinois had 35. They're going to need an effort like that from Kevin Foster tonight. Olenek can't convert, but then grabbed it back. Loose ball, and Foster comes out of there with it. Rockamore was on the wing. Foster doesn't give it up and goes right to the rack and misses, but a foul is called. And Foster will go to the free throw line. You want to see what a fifth year senior looks like? That's it. In transition, he's under control. And lets Mike Hart catch up to him and then just crosses up Bell and gets fouled as he gets to the rim, I believe, by Harris. And he's just so patient with the ball. He's never in, in a rush. He never picks up his dribble, Dan, in a bad spot. And that's something you don't typically see from young guys. You can tell he's played a ton of basketball at this level. The game is slow. And he always makes, for the most part, the right play. Foul called on Harris. That's his second team's first. Foster now with 20 points. Needs three more for 2,000 in his career. And if the Zags thought they could come out and try to make life tough for him, he answered that in a hurry, didn't he? <laughs> He's making up. life tough for Gonzaga tonight. That's picking for up sure. right where I left off, fellas. Get ready. Yeah. Truly great scores. You can't shut them down. No, what you try to do is you make you try to make things difficult for them. 
and try to make them score by having to get one more dribble by taking a step out one step further past the three-point line. There's Harris deep on the block and now he'll shoot free throw. Harris with 11 points. He's five of five from the free throw line. Atonga picks up his second personal first team foul. He is so good is Harris at drawn contact and getting to the line leads the Zags with over six free throws attempted per game. Every time he catches it now he's in attack mode. And Richard he's underrated physically when you talk about the great physical presences of Gonzaga over these years yeah. players like J.P. Batista he's underrated. That's a that great department. call Greg because I think he's known as an athlete a vertical athlete. But what get, gets lost at times maybe because he's only six seven six eight is he is a horse in the paint. He is a strong kid. He'll move guys and get to where he wants to go. His first miss at the line. I mean, think about it. He's 6'7, 6'8, 240 plus. He's a handful. Well, his strength and his explosiveness allows him to typically finish through guys, which not a lot of players can do. Harris, one of two. Gonzaga's first point of the second half. And it's a four point game. There's Rockamore, who averages 14 points a game. He's got four tonight. He's had a good floor game to start the, start the first half, but he just hasn't shot the ball great. Almost seems to be in a little bit of a rush when he shoots the ball tonight. Foster. Wow, a runner from the free throw line. Foster with 21. And quite frankly, that's just you tip your cap. Actually, he's got 23. I'm sorry. No, you're Richard. fine, bud. You're fine. That's 23, 2,000 for his career. Well, how about that? Well, congratulations to him. That's a heck of an accomplishment. There's Bell driving into the paint and the reverse drops. Big time basketball well, on both ends. If there's one player, if you're Gonzaga staff, that you could say, hey, Gary, take a look at how he plays the game, it would be Kevin Foster. Similar body build. Gary might not be as explosive an athlete. But he was that kind of scorer in high school. Foster now the step back. That's short. Trasolini runs it down. Nobody moved to the rim for Gonzaga. Well, Olenek's got to help Mike Hart. He knows Foster is hunting, that, hunting out that jump shot. And that's where Trasolini needs to be more aggressive. His understanding his man is often the help man defensively. That offensive glass is going to be open. It's a two point game in Santa Clara. Here's. Harris to the rim and he's fouled by Atanga. So Harris earning the trip back at the free throw line where he's six of seven in this game. He's got 12 points. Well that's a great example of a fourth year guy a senior being able to make a wise decision with the ball. Earlier in his career Elias could not make that play. Going on the dribble at Kevin Pangos for a dribble handoff. Defense Rockmore denies it. Elias just kept right on going attack the rim drew the foul. You said it, Dan. It's his handle. His handle has really improved over his four years as a freshman. Really couldn't put the ball on the floor at all. Now you'll see him bring it up at times and look to create. That's the third personal foul on Yannick Atongo. So the starter, Robert Garrett, back into the game for head coach Perry Keating. And Garrett also playing with three personal fouls. And Harris is just flat out good tonight from the free throw line. He's 8 of 9, 14 points. You take him any way you can get him. Bell right up on Foster. Bell playing hard. Foster won't get the roll. Olenek clears it. Here's Pangos. Flying through that Bronco defense and a foul. The block called on Cowles. Well, defensively, that is one of the hardest things in basketball to do is when a guard is pushing it at you full speed in transition, not to foul. The tendency is to get your hands in there. Raymond Cowles, tough call going against you, but you stick your hand in there, ref's going to call you for that. You got to play a little bit. Three team fouls, the second out of Ray Cowles. They have let him play for the most part tonight, but that's a tough one in transition to stop any guard. I don't care who you are. And you like the fact that Kevin's looking to push it. Let me find himself an easy bucket, create something for a teammate. Don't walk the ball up the floor. Don't let that defense get set. Bell. That's a three. That's off the front of the rim. Foster the rebound. That shot didn't look good when it left Bell's hand. And Trasolini left wide open. And how about the vision from Foster? What a pass there by Kevin Foster. 
Brennan Trasolini runs the floor, outruns Olenek, a kid in Olenek who runs the floor awfully well. The two seniors connect for the easy two. Back door, Hart, Olenek, the lay-in. Boy, when this game works, it's beautiful to watch. Simple plays. An extra pass there from Mike Hart, who's only got three turnovers on the year in over 230 minutes. Rockamore, that ball was deflected. Trasolini with it, left hand. Offensive foul called, no bucket. Basket's good. They counted the bucket. Count the bucket. Dick Cartmel was emphatic with that call. 15-41 to play. We've got a dandy in Santa Clara. The Zags with a two-point lead on the Broncos. One of the first.